Hi, my name is Ilza Zilkin. I go by Hannah. I'm the author of Blue Mountain Miss. I am here today doing another entry about events inside Wolfville and how difficult it was. It's with such a sacrifice for humanity, uh, the hundred men and one civilian female. So first of all, when we think of a clam, um, that little pearl inside is a natural component of a tiny little piece of speck going in, infecting it, and making some type of shiny matter. Um, you know, we have the largest pearls with diamonds, etc. Um, but there is something more interesting about that. That diamond, uh, to get to this particular type of pearl, you have to be between mental and normal. And it's that fine line which makes it the divination portion. So, um, you know, again, by all means, if you're an atheist, it's just a cool story uh, when we do the movie. So let's go back to the pearl. So you're looking at some of the largest pearls in the world, completely natural. And then you see the seawater, freshwater pearls. And those pearls are like uh, completely wrinkly. Um, they're also absolutely beautiful, but it's something forced on to the clam itself. It's not natural in round circleness and that's the story of hannah so when you're looking at all 200 videos and we're looking at bits and pieces of the sun collection which is blue mountain mist animal to hominid um you know dialogues of kanat or the languages of the birds or real evolve these are all connected to that fine line uh to make it simple between mental illness and regular thought so it's a fine line, which right now she sounds normal, but sometimes um, it goes up and down and it's not easy because of the enhancers and the amount of drugs. And, she, you know, she's on citrus to try to remove some of the chemicals. There's certain things in her um, that are about two inches in length, um, parasitic in nature, trying to clean whatever's inside of her. It's, it has not been easy um, and these are the best doctors in the globe um, trying to clean her out. Uh, but again, to get to the point of um, these journals, you have to, and there's 70 of them, you have to not be in a right state of mind. You, you're sort of in a different realm where you touch the sky and you come right back to earth. And it's in exactly that fine line like a natural pearl. And this is the problem we are encountering with some of those all over the place journals. Uh, some of it is just things she knows with the black community. Some of it is within her family. Some of it is logic. It's a, it's a really large scale uh, gathering of uh, a variety of information. So um, why, when we think of uh, the skies and divine and the natural pearl we're gonna put all that aside um, because we're gonna leave that for marketing and sort of bring it down to the human level and continue the real evolve series because that is the ultimate goal um, and you have to understand she's working injured she's working with a lot of politics uh, you know like the mailman came but it's not the mailman uh, it looks like a 20 year old kid uh, you know, and uh, big men flinging, investing money in, in their special girls and, uh, you know, and these girls are crying to them and uh, they are, uh, you know, when we deal with hookers and, you know, Hannah is a street baby, uh, when we deal with hookers, these women can do numbers on men, you have no clue. So they're wailing, are they wailing? To me, it's crocodile tears, I couldn't give a shit, but in the end, um, this is the kind of challenges we are encountering in Canada and we are trying to bring back legality, bring back enforcement, get them out of the banks. Uh, you know, they're in there changing servers and doing, you know, all kinds of criminality, gangster doxters on top of that. It has not been easy. And when we look at all these journals, that is what they are after. And that's the $40 billion female. So, so far they brought down, I think in my mind, they may have brought down one disciple. That's uh, money. Again, a lot of drugs, opium, cocaine, a lot of prostitutes. 
they brought down one disciple, Hannah's inheritance overseas that, you know, God knows what happened there. You know, all of a sudden we have a German sitting in in my house in Beolo, you know, and I'm looking at them uh, saying, okay, to the Turkish government, okay, these guys got to go. But it's not even that. It's a safety issue now. God knows what uh, BS they said overseas um, and then followed with all these copyrights. I mean, it's nice, clean, dirty money, but they don't understand certain things. Each and every single line is not research. It's not Turkish to English or Persian to English. It is actually academically based. And it's a natural flow of a whole divination story that is not even remotely as important as the real Evolve is. And she can't even produce that at this particular time. They'll just end up uh, injuring her. And now they're really scared because if they injure her, they might die because someone out there with an Intel uh, button, you know, like uh, how they control the world is very teed off. So this is the up and down, up and down, up and down Hannah went through. And if you go on to Star Ilk and you'll notice each and every photo, she looks different. And it just benefited humanity because it gave uh, people a different look on how uh, evolution altered humans' faces um, top topographically. So uh, what's more interesting is in this particular photo, for example, you have to understand she looks very, very white, very, very pale. Um, in this photo, her nose has begun to swole. Again, these are very, very serious uh, challenges and uh, of someone being altered and a lot of continuous back and forth on the authentic story. This is um, really a gift for humanity. And if you look at it, um, this is really uh, Turkic people. Um, and she is 100% um, a prophet from a different world. That's her title. That's what was given to her. And uh, if you look at her here, this is uh, now most, unless you're Canadian, you won't see it. And her nose has been made wider, but uh, she's very ill here. Uh, this is First Nations now, um, and that's a fluke uh, in itself. Uh, you have to live in Canada, Canada to know this is a perfect replica of true, authentic First Nations people. And that's, again, topographic alterations. So um, now why has Hannah given so much? because we are just starting technically at the tip of the iceberg with how much um, one female um, is going to do in helping the Evolve University generate thousands of new jobs and thousands of research, but we really need the globe and these men just don't get that. So that is where we are today. Uh, just a reminder of how difficult it has been and that the Pentagon is involved and the Greeks are involved and the Armenians are involved and everybody's trying to do fraud because it's topics that they are not, you know, not known to humanity. And uh, for them, they want in, but they don't know what they want in for. So they just have to sort of wait it out. And this is why she got that particular name. And even, for example, Arid Wasteland Reparation, which is hers, um you know, it's a big defeat for humanity and existence and bettering society. And uh, like I said, um, she is not normal. That is for sure. Uh, massive, massive variance of what hit Earth for the better for humanity. So that is where we are today. Thank you for your support.